what makes education education? I think w you asking that question is probably the best question to ask in 2024. I'm Kim Kelly, the CEO and co-founder of PeopleWork. And a part of what we've designed within our AI career assistant is to help people move with what is happening out in the world around us. And I know that's kind of vague because there's really no prescriptive word to describe this change of the way we do life. And education is a huge part to becoming a smart society, becoming smart individuals, doing, um, getting the information and knowledge that you need to reach your goals. It's a big part of it, but not in that traditional sense. In fact, I'm going to let you in on some interesting insights about the way education as a business actually works today. Did you know that I'm a teacher? Not on like an official, I don't have a teacher certification thing, but if you look me up on Udemy or Masterclass or even as a, a professor at two or three different universities who is supporting a curriculum and teaching content on the future of HR and HR transformation, you might find out that I'm a teacher. I also teach my children. I teach my employees. I'm a teacher all day, every day. So that is the biggest thing that is going to influence what education is or has already influenced what education is and means to us now going forward. Two things that I want to ask everybody to stop doing. One is think that a university is the only way for you to develop your knowledge. Most people who are younger than 35 years of age know that most of what you need to know is somewhere on the internet. The other secret that anybody over 35 won't tell you about every job that they've ever had since the internet was available publicly is in order for them to do their job, they always have to search, how do I do on the internet? So are we really ever in a state where in, where we're not learning or education isn't important? No. And then the second thing is, how much should education cost? Well, if, I am an, if I'm an employer, which I am, I have thousands of universities, colleges, sending me links about their online course programs, their online degree programs, the continued education. And I will tell you that the prices are a lot less expensive than those for those freshman conversations. I will also tell you that a course that is taught by a teacher at a boot camp could also be the same course that's taught through a university. It's just now you have a higher price for it because more people are involved. So as we think about what education is, this is not a knock on education. Everybody needs education. It's an awareness for the consumer of education to know that education has changed. And it's your responsibility as a consumer to understand who you want to consume it from, meaning who are your teachers going to be, where you want to consume it. Maybe it's through your people work AI career assistant. Maybe you're part of a co-working space that has our AI career assistant and you're able to access education wherever. Maybe it's part of a shared program that's at a local college campus. Who knows? But there are so many different ways of, and locations, the where you are going to consume it. Why you're consuming it, of course, we want you to be knowledgeable. We want you to develop your proficiencies. And, and we want to make those recommendations for you when you've decided what your goal job is. Now, if you're getting education just because you're curious about something, you know, go do it. Go look on the internet, pay what you want to pay because you're, you have this like intrinsic curiosity to be curiosity around a subject. But if you're trying to think that you buy education that will get you a gold job, I'm sorry to break it to you. It just doesn't happen. It never has happened. That's why people are so upset with that whole debt to income return on investment thing. So the who the where and the why and the what, what are you paying for? 
If you're paying to talk to an expert, you're the judge of what that is. And if you're getting educated for the purposes of getting your gold job, the other deciding person is the person hiring you. Many times we have uh, been in situations where a company will say, I expected this certain proficiency from a skill and this person has a degree and they don't know anything about what I expect. So unless that educator is actually using people work to help get their curriculum in line with what employers are really looking for, I don't know how you would evaluate whether or not um, the value of what you're paying for is going to actually get you your job. And understand that if a teacher is available to you at different price points, just under different rooftops or different access points, meaning the internet or someplace physical, do your research. Or of course, just create your profile on your AI career assistant and let people work help you through that. As a consumer of education, somebody who's trying to decide on what to do, what to buy, who to get the knowledge from, or how or, how or even why you're even choosing to get into uh, education in the first place, we're here as a resource and a tool to help you evolve with work.